Uh, yeah, again, four on Nightshed. And I don't know, it's beginning to look a little ominous. It is 3-0 for IC Red. Um, so what can Nitro do? Because, you know, there's been some errors. It's not like he's been playing like, oh, what the hell? What is this? Uh, okay. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Uh, one can only assume, really, that Nitro has some specific Terran build that he reckons is going to be really good against Icy Red. Um, and, uh, there, I mean, there certainly could be. Um, and I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know. Uh, did, he didn't play random, did he? I wouldn't have thought so. I wouldn't have thought so. So, like, presumably Icy Red is aware that he's up against the Terran. Um, but it looks like an awfully normal build you know the Rax is at home there's no Gaston yet um, which is a little odd because you would have thought Reaper um, you know Reapers against Protoss are great aren't they uh, very few things as annoying as a, as a quick Reaper in your best when you're playing Protoss uh, no so it is a surprise that I see red uh, by the looks of things um, yeah, you know, a Reaper in your best, best when you're tossed, because it's edges before you've got anything that can catch it. Edges before you've got anything, you know, it's, it's got to be a Stalker or an Adept. So you've got you've to have the um, side core finished up and then have built a unit before you can deal with it. Whereas, of course, the Terran can just crack out the fastest unit in the entire game, um, able to jump up and down cliffs and heal itself uh, with their single most basic tech structure with no add-ons. Um, you know, that's in no way broken at all, is it? Um, I've pointed this out to, you know, people who Terran men on more than one occasion. And, you know, in uh, like I play random, as you guys may know. Uh, and I kind of, I mean, I do have a slight preference, um, but I enjoy playing all three races. What I've found generally is Terrans are the biggest whingers. You know what I mean? Zergs generally don't complain that much. Toss don't complain that much. See people that play Terran, always whinging. It's always, oh, that's broken and this is broken. Oh, that's so broken. And you're like, shut up, man. You get Reapers. They're like stupidly fast. You don't need any tech to build them. You just need 50 gas at the start of the game. And you've got the fastest unit in the game. And it can jump up cliffs, can circumvent walls, can't be caught by anything and heals itself. Just quit your moaning. Not to mention, drop a factory and you've got Winter Mines, a unit that does splash, splash, and cloaks. Ah, oh, like, I'm sorry, what, what does Toss need to get splash damage out? You know, certainly more than just Rax factory. Um, yeah, no splash damage for Toss, no splash damage for Zerg. No, not, not until you get to tier three with the other two races. So Terran have got like a tier two unit, basic tier two unit that cloaks and does splash damage. They've got a tier one unit that heals itself and is faster than anything else in the game. Requires no tech support whatsoever. Unbelievable. And they have the nerve to moan. Anyway, that's all by the by. This is gonna, presumably there's void ray build in here. Um, if this hasn't been spotted, this can be difficult to deal with. Uh, Nitro needs a bunker. He needs a bunker here and he needs it quite soon. Um, otherwise, this is going to be problematic. Uh, Widow Mines can be fantastic here uh, if, he, if he knows that this is there, but I, I, I'm not so sure he doesn't. He's about to find out. Uh, the Void Ray is going to come in. Uh, five Marines aren't going to kill a Void Ray, but he is building Marines two at a time. The, the Widow Mine can make a huge, huge difference. So uh, the Widow Mine burrows and is going to fire. Um, unfortunately, with the shield batteries there, three shield batteries is more than enough to heal this up. So. Um, the next widow mine you need to put it a bit further back so that it's out of range uh but look keep cranking out these uh keep cranking out the marines um because you can win this and vikings are great because bear in mind a viking outranges a void ray by um i'm not sure about a screen and a half maybe um so he can hold this but you know uh, i'd love to see some workers come over and get some bunkers done because that would make a big difference uh, the widow mines can make a big difference and there are vikings in production so that's good um worker production appears to have stopped for both players and i had to see that you know uh so you know if you're stopping work 
production at the four minute mark. You've, you've turned this into an all-in when it doesn't have to be. See these uh, winter mines doing the business there. I'd be, um, you know, I'd, I'd love to see them continuing to be produced. Uh, I'm not sure about this one going over here. You know, this is this is the problem zone. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing a tank come out because the tank, uh, the range on the tank, you can target these down, um, and that would be a useful thing. And um, all useful things. So I think Nitro can hold this. He's he's doing the right things. Uh, I would also quite like to see something go across the map and wreck this. Um, you know, if he like a Reaper, for example, squeeze out a Reaper in amongst this and just run it round the side. And look, there's literally nothing here. A Reaper would just go ham. Um, so uh, he's got enough here to fight this. I'm not sure why he's running. Burrow the Widowman and fight this. So like it's only two Void Rays. And look, one of them's got like 32 health. You could have you could have beat that. I'm not sure that running from that was a good decision. Um, he needs to do some repair in here. Don't know where the widow mine's going. He needs it here, burrowing. That widow mine could just be making a huge difference to this. Um, I, oh, all oh right, or just do that. Yeah, I mean, uh, mm, yeah. Had he burrowed that straight away, I think it would have gone off. Um, <laughs> oh well. Uh, so the factory finishes up. Uh, sorry, the tech lab on the factory finishes up. The factory's still alive. Uh, I'm not sure about moving it closer to this carnage, but anyway, um, it is going to die now, and that's a real shame. Needs to get the repair off on this, and doesn't. Um, so, I don't know, for a while there, it looked like this was being pretty well managed. Now I'm not too sure. Another void ray goes down, and, you know, the whole point of this build is that you build, like, one or two voids, and you don't lose them. You don't, like, continue to you know turn it into a massive all-in um, but it does I don't know there is a chance here he could uh, there is a chance that he could take the game here I suppose um, yeah I, I don't know about the reactor here reactors take a long time to build you know you just need the units just crank out the units um, lots more barracks coming down um, you know, look at this mineral bank it's kind of horrible given that both players have stopped worker production which neither of them should have done um, yes, with a mine, that's when you need the Marines to go in. Um, uh, yeah, which neither of them should have done, but they have. Uh, and nevertheless, there's this massive mineral bank. So, you know, all this attention on this misery. Um, and you could be closing out this game in all sorts of ways if you were using these gateways at all. Uh, finally, warps in two DTs, and that is going to be GG because I don't think he can. Uh, well, I mean, I suppose he's got plenty of scan energy, so if he sees these, he can end them. But, you know, to be honest, there's a reasonable bank here, um, so he's got to decide, and the problem is you can't really split the Marines up, so you need to fight the Void Rays. I, I think this is actually just going to end again, uh, in, in absolutely miserable fashion. It would have been nice to have had one of the games that wasn't a cheese, um, you know, that wasn't a proxy cannon rush. Uh, that was just like straight up play um, but you know anyway uh, that's how it goes I guess um, so Nitro still has a substantial bank he's still cranking out marines uh, you know could really do with a tech lab here so that um, he can get stim on the go for these marines and stuff like that um, you know combat shield stim can, can just make quite a big difference here and a medevac wouldn't go astray so you know these idle workers could be building stuff back here um this could be dropping mules or whatever he, it looks like he's got plenty now to kill these void rays um so I, i'd like to see him just do that uh needs to focus them like one at a time but look he's got enough why are we running there's only two void rays look what since when did 20 marines run from two void rays I don't understand what, what's happening here. And, and look, even the four Vikings on their own pretty much one shot a Void Ray, don't they? So um, Nitro, I don't know, maybe he's just lost the will to live. Maybe he's so depressed is he by the level of cheese, you know? Proxy Void Ray into DT. Um, that's pretty miserable uh, that he's just given up. Um, but like he, he can't, again, don't, don't run from a stalker. I, I don't understand why Nitro isn't just pushing down here and killing this. Um, because he, he's got more than enough units, he's got more than enough firepower. I mean, look at the army. He, he literally got twice, twice the army of the Protoss, and he's running. Uh, I, I don't. Just, just kill him. Oh gosh. What the? 
Oh, no. The invisible man are here. Um, and he's just dropped two mules. Your stuff's dying to invisible. Lift. Please lift the CC. Don't let it come. Oh. I, th I think Nitro maybe has just lost the plot. Um, you know, dropping two mules when there's DTs in your base is not a good plan. Just go, just kill it. You could have killed this ages ago. You had more than enough to just kill it and you were running from it. I don't understand why. You need to focus the pile on the pile on the pile on. Um, you know, these DTs are an absolute misery. Look, nine kills on that one. He's going to lose this base as well. You know your stuff flies, Nitro. And DTs don't shoot up the last time I checked. Um, but if we look at the army supply, all he's got to do is lift a building here. And he can, in theory, win this because he can just go across the map and win. Um, but unfortunately, one DT could save the day. So, uh, but like, don't, like, your stuff flies. Get a worker out. Build. Oh, no, you don't actually have enough minerals. Um, uh, uh, uh you would have enough minerals if you cancelled all the marines and cancelled stim. Uh, you'd have enough minerals to build a um, CC. Because the problem he's got here is I see Red's just going to warp in DTs. And, and you can't scan for the DTs. So that is fairly problematic. So I don't think Nitro can win. Um, you know, but to be honest, he should have won. Because he kind of did the right things. He had the Widow Mines. He built the marines, um, but unfortunately ran away from Void Rays when he should have just shot them in the face. Um, and these DTs are just going to win the game for IC Red. Uh, I'm a little... Um, that is, This is one of the most depressing games I think I've, I've ever watched. Um, again, that's a game that Nitro should have won. Um, because it was a hold and he had like double the army literally double the army all he had to do was not lose his cc's uh, which actually wasn't that hard just lift them off you know what i mean <laughs> repair them anything anything ah well um there we have it uh yeah uh a pretty cheesy four nil i see red um sure does like a cheese doesn't he so uh <laughs> there we go anyway that's uh, that's how scrap goes. GG.